Welcome. Have you ever seen such a nine box grid before? Have you wondered how to create this for your own organization? In this video, I will explain what a nine box grid is, what is its purpose, what are the different components of a nine box grid, and finally, a simple three step process using our Excel template to create a dynamic interactive nine box grid customized for your organization's needs. Now let's get started. The nine box grid is one of the most used talent management framework that considers the employee's past performance and also future potential contribution to the company or the organization. The objective of this tool is to recognize high performing employees and reward them Identify underperforming employees so that you can take the necessary actions to correct course. Enables visibility to the strength of your team. Plan employee development strategies for each of your employees. It will also assist in succession planning. The reason why this method or framework is very popular is because it's simple and effective. Just like the philosophy that Inzara.com is founded on, Simple tools can be effective too. If used correctly, the nine box grid framework will ensure a transparent and fair method of evaluating and assessing talent or employees in your company. This tool is used by HR along with the people managers and the leadership to decide next steps for each employee in terms of their career growth and development within the organization. So what is in a nine box grid? What are its components? There are two axes of measurement. On the X axis typically is past performance of the employee. On the Y axis, we have the future potential. For performance, an employee will be placed into one of the three categories or levels based on the performance reviews done. For example, it could be low, moderate, and high. So the employee will fit into either the low performance bucket or the moderate or high. It could also be three different categories like not meeting job expectations, meeting job expectations, or exceeding job expectations. Or it could be underperforming, performing, outstanding performance. So however you want to customize the three levels or categories of performance. Similarly, the potential, the manager, the people manager, along with the leadership's guidance and HR will classify an employee based on the potential of the employee to contribute to the company or the team in future. This can be in one of the three categories like low, moderate or high, the names may change from company to company. They may choose to rename the different categories. However, the concept remains the same. Now we have three levels in the X axis and three levels in the Y axis. So we have a three by three matrix and that leads us to nine boxes. And this is why it's called a nine box grid framework because now we have nine boxes and the bottom left box represents the low performance and low potential employees. Typically, these are employees where the job fit is not there. So the employee and the role that they are currently in do not fit. Typically, they will have to either realign to a different role or a different department. The current role does not seem to be a good fit for the employee's qualifications and skills. On the other extreme, the top right corner, we have the high performance and high potential employees. And these are typically employees who are ready to move to the next level and they could be in line for promotion at the next available opportunity. The intent of employee growth and development within that role is to help the employees move from any of the other boxes on the bottom left to top right. Depending on where they are, different actions can be taken to work with the employees to improve wherever it needs improvement, to push them further and further towards the top right. This will help with a very clear and consistent 
career growth and employee development strategy within your organization. This is just a general framework. Each company will have a different flavor of it. You may have a different axis. It may not be performance and potential as I explained. It could be something different. The different three levels could be different. Uh, the names and the descriptions, all of these could be different. The descriptions I've provided here are taken from the SHRM website and I'll provide a link to that as well. But each company can completely customize it according to their unique needs for their employees. Now for the final part of this video, let me talk about the Excel template from inzara.com, which you can download from inzara.com and I will provide a link in the video description below. There are three simple steps you can follow to create your own customized nine box grid. So now I have the Excel template open. Now we start with the settings. The first step is to define the nine boxes according to your company's needs. For example, you can customize the two axes, whether it is potential or performance, you can rename it. You can rename all the nine boxes and the descriptions, and you can also change the three levels within each axis. So customize it according to your company's unique needs. That's the first step. The second step is to go to the employee data sheet and enter the list of employees in your company for whom you want to actually build a nine box grid. And this could be within a specific team or it could be for your entire company, but enter the list of employees and their attributes like the job grade, location, department, business unit and all that. And finally, you have two columns to say, what is the performance and the potential? So these are, as I mentioned, the three levels. So performance could be low, moderate, high. Similarly, the potential could be low, moderate, high. And all of these will be dynamic based on the choices that you make in the settings. But this is very, very simple. It'll probably take you just a few minutes to enter your data about the employees and their performance and potential. Then we can go to the nine box grid sheet. The third step is to actually see our customized dynamic and interactive nine box grid. So you'll see in the first page, you'll see the nine box grid fully populated with the number of employees in each box and also the percentage of employees in each box. And on the left side, you have all these filters, which you can do to take a look at one department or one unit or multiple units or multiple locations at a time. So for example, let me choose HR. I filter on it and I can see there are 10 employees. And now I can see where those 10, empl 10 employees are. Four of them are in the underperformer box. And then we have one in most of the other boxes and we don't have any in the high impact and trusted professional. And you can see that on the right side as well, which is a little bit easier for you to actually compare uh, and see where is the concentration of employees in this specific team. In this team, 40% are underperformer. But um, if I go back to the overall organization, I see that the underperformer makes up 24% of employees and core employees are like 27%. So very clear visibility to what is the mix of employees you currently have based on the latest performance and potential evaluation. On the right side, you have the list of employees and here you will actually see the names of the employees in each of those boxes. This is typically very effective when you are having these conversations with the people managers around specific groups. For example, I only want to look at a certain location and then also a certain business unit in that location. So now I have like 27 employees here and out of those 27 employees, I can see that 11 are in the underperformer and seven are future leaders, but I can actually see their names in this. So this is how you can use this tool to facilitate your conversations between the HR and the people manager and the leadership about which employees we need to work with how based on where they end up in the nine boxes, the action items will be different. And this tool just facilitates having that conversation in an effective way. You can also export this page to PDF or print if needed. 
If you have any questions about this template, please put them in the comments in the video description below. We have a lot of Excel templates specifically designed for HR on Inzara.com. And so we hope that you check them out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video about another Excel template. Thank you very much.